What is going on guys? Today is Sunday. As I told you yesterday, it's not too eventful on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm going to train uh, some clients at the gym, train some receivers, and then get up out of there. Um, there won't really be any more chart breakdown stuff. However, I did realize after the fact that the video was only four minutes instead of 41 minutes yesterday, so I apologize for that. We'll get that thing rolling. It's just kind of a storage thing, I guess, that it had failed to upload the entire clip. I'll put up the breakdown more than likely so you guys can check that out for those of you who are interested in that um, and those who are aspiring traders or just those people who are just trying to, you know, see the entire video. So what I upload today of like just chart breakdowns is supposed to be a combination of the four minutes that you saw yesterday or last night, pretty much early, early this morning at like 12, I think it uploaded and the just the charts that I'm breaking down from my laptop. So you've got those clips. I uh, just want to make that clear. Obviously, you're watching this video, so this is the second video, if you will, that's going up today. But we're going to make sure we get, you know, on the ball here. This is not going to be a super long one. We're already at, you know, less than two minutes. Um, I won't take you inside as far as, you know, posting you up and and videoing training people. If you guys want to see that kind of stuff, go on at GSP Training on IG. That is, uh, you know, pretty much all encompasses everything we do inside the gym. So um, just for time's sake and for storage on my computer's sake, I'm not going to record a full hour or two of, you know, me training people. So, but tomorrow morning, I will be training, meaning me getting my own workout in, so that is a whole different story. I'm gonna go get a stand probably later today once I get done with work, so I can obviously have this stuff propped up, um, you know, properly, and then we can get the, the best shots. Then that will obviously transition into day trading and how we do on the PA tomorrow. Let's get some payouts, guys. And that's essentially it. Um, that kind of encompasses the whole day. Later in the afternoons, I go to work. I do my thing. I train my clients. Um, and we can kind of talk about some of that stuff. Maybe we jump on when I get off work and I get back on camera and kind of just talk about my day. Uh, if there was anything interesting that needs to be put in there. But again, I don't want you to get bored from it. I'm telling you in advance, it'll be working out videos, training in the morning at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., um, so you guys can kind of see my workflow and then obviously working and then trading um, from 930 to, you know, that's kind of discretionary, but usually I only take it till about noon. I really don't get in a lot of afternoon plays. Afternoon plays don't really do me too good. Um, I end up giving money back to the market typically when I do that. So again, that's, that's the process of being a trader. You learn what works, what doesn't work. And uh, again, like I said, tomorrow is a, is a big day. First day on the PA, um, on this particular account at least. So we're gonna get this thing rocking and rolling. Um, almost at the gym, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm driving there now, and we will keep you uh, posted. And more importantly, I will see you guys a little bit later when I go to Best Buy to get a stand for the camera. Um, and let me see, is there anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good day today. Have a blessed Sunday, and I will see you guys a little bit later. Peace. What is up, gang? So we are back at the house now. Just got home. Check out the stand. Had to go scoop it real quick from Best Buy. Pretty solid. Joby. It's a good brand. So I'll grab this one. This thing is, I think goes up 71 inches or something like that. So pretty solid, or 61 inches, I'm sorry. So pretty solid, does everything I need to do. I'm gonna put you on the stand here. Um, we'll look at the charts a little bit more uh, before the night is up, but ultimately there was not a lot involved. Obviously I kind of just talked to you guys before getting to the gym. Obviously had a receiver come in. Right now it's spring break time, so it's pretty slow, meaning for the high school kids. Um, so usually it's pretty you know packed, but it was it was pretty slow today, so. Not too bad, but anyway, um, I'm gonna pop you guys on the stand. Um, went and got some glass bottles for uh, my water. I'll show you guys this look. Mountain Valley, baby. You can zoom into that bad boy. Hold on, let me see if you guys can see it. 
You guys see that mountain valley spring? We don't mess around with that whack water Dasani Deer Park. No. We get the quality stuff. Obviously, this is just like a dispenser that's on top of it. That way I can put, you know, a glass underneath it. So then I can obviously drink the water. I don't have one of the dispensers. I really, I mean, I can get one surely, but this is easier. And then I can just put these um, glass uh, bottles into, you know, my, my fridge. And then that makes it easy. And then that's how I can cool it. I'm going to show you right here. One of the glass bottles, I think they're pretty cool. It's got like a little cork at the top of it. This is 51 gallons, or 51 gallons, wow. 51 ounces. Check this out. Look how fresh that is, a little cork. Pretty dope, you know? Glass bottle action. I mean, I'm sure normally people would hold like snacks or something in this, but water is going in this. So anyway, I got uh, like five or six of these, or seven of these, and then I have a couple like 34 ounce ones, so they're a little bit skinnier ones, but anyways. I'm gonna load those things up, and we'll obviously give them a good washing, and then uh, load those up in my fridge, and then those are the things that I'll obviously be taking to the gym with me in the mornings. Two of those is almost a, ga you know, a gallon, 128 obviously is a gallon, so you're talking about 102 ounces by just doing two of these. So, anywho, I guess keep you updated on that. Again, not super eventful, but tomorrow we're getting swollen in the morning, 5 a.m. waking up. And then uh, I'll have clients in the morning as well, but then we'll get to the trading as well. Uh, first day on the PA, so it should be good. So anyways, guys, just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. I went and bought the stand like I told you I was going to. I'm going to throw you on here. Maybe we'll break down a little bit of charts tonight just to make sure that the market will open here. Actually, what time is it now? It's open now or about to be open. What time is it? My phone's in my pocket. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's, it's later than, yeah, it's like 7, I'm pretty sure. So it's open. Um, it may or may not have made moves, you know what I'm saying? But obviously tomorrow when the market opens at 9.30 proper is when it will really start rolling. Um, we'll be trading NQ, potentially ES. Um, I don't really look at ES too much, but NQ, most importantly, that's kind of like my main one. Obviously look at US 30 and a couple other things. But other than that, maybe some gold. But other than that, we're going to break it down, see if there's any potential moves, see if maybe the bias has changed. Uh, because the market is open right now and is moving currently. And then uh, by tomorrow, if it's still the same and everything looks pretty much copacetic, then we're going to continue to wait for our play to open up and then we're going to jump in the markets. So hope you guys have a great night tonight, um, Monday. Obviously the best day of the week for traders. Maybe not for you because you have to get back to work, whatever the case may be. But again, if you do what you love to do, then you never work a day in your life. I love trading. This is what I love doing. I obviously still work. I still train my clients and stuff every single day, but that is the highlight of my day. So making money tomorrow, would love to do that. Be able to put it on cam, show you guys that we're making progress towards our PA account. Um, and then again, let's just watch the ascension happen together and um, watch these payouts come and I'll show you guys the withdrawals. Trust me when I tell you that I will be putting it in cash um, so you guys can see it, so you guys know it's legit. I told you before in my other, my first vlog coming back that there's a lot of fugazi in this market and um, a lot of people that maybe you watch or that you know of that are traders that are not really traders. So I want to make it as transparent as I can. That's as good as I can get, guys, is putting it in cash, showing you right here, you know what I'm saying, in my living room, boom. Cash is right here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, past that point, again, I'm not going to do anything else that's going to be, uh, you know, that, that's going to put me in harm's way. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, I mean, you get what I'm getting at. Like, I'm just going to show you. I'm not going to put my bank account statements up there. I'm not going to do all that stuff. That's not necessary. By me going to the bank, I'll take a video of, hey, I'm at Wells Fargo. I'm about to go pull out $10,000 or $20,000. And I'm going to show you and bring out the cash. And then I'm going to show it to you. So that is as is, is good as I can get it. If you guys can't accept that, if you guys are like, oh, he's scamming. Oh, he already had that money. Like, I'm telling you now before I've made a single withdrawal that I'm going to show you on video. So that's the most transparent I can be. I hope this helps. I am, obviously this is just like kind of the beginning of the YouTube journey, if you will. This is not for me, this is not for you, no disrespect. Again, like I told you, this is for my kids. So kids, this is something 
that you will understand as you watch this further and I will obviously explain this to you you know behind closed doors as well that there are a lot of people you know in more depths I should say and I can kind of show you more proof than I can anybody else but this is the way I can be as transparent as possible I will obviously point out to you how this industry is run the majority of the times and then how your dad has done this as transparent as he can do it. So I'm telling you guys early, I'm telling you guys often that I'm here to be as transparent as I can be because I think it's super cool when you can go back and look at the ascension, that you can see the the come up, that you can see where I'm at right now and then you know where I'm living or where we're living or where you're watching this video from um, in you know 10 years from now or in five years from now or whatever the case may be. Um, so again, it holds me accountable. It holds me accountable to my goals. It holds me accountable to what I need to do with these trading accounts. Um, this is not a game to me. This is something that's very important to me. Um, and yeah, so again, I'm rambling a little bit. I'm gonna put you guys on the stand. I'm gonna go um, cook some food here shortly and then get ready for tomorrow's market open, baby. Let's get after it. Peace.